I decided I would do a makeup hacks video. Some of them are going to be super simple because not everybody knows about makeup and some of them you may find beneficial that you may never have heard of. So we're going to start with foundation. Here I'm using the Tarte Cosmetics Amazonian Clay BB Cream. There's a common misconception when it comes to foundation application that if you're applying it with your hands that you're applying it wrong. That's incorrect. There is no wrong or right way to apply foundation. As long as it goes on and it looks good, then there's nothing to worry about. So if you don't want to invest in a ton of different brushes, then you can apply foundation with your hands. Just make sure you do the same techniques as you would when applying with a brush. Make sure to take it down your neck and just blend in circular motions with your fingers. Hack slash tip number two is brightening your face. Those of you that are familiar with highlighting and contouring, you'll already know about this. I'm using the Tarte Cosmetics Maracuja Creaseless Concealer and this is a full coverage one. Now the best way to brighten your under eye is not to put it in small dots right underneath your lashes. The idea is to put it in a nice V shape down your cheek and this is going to brighten up that whole entire area. And you want to choose a colour that's one to two shades lighter than your natural skin tone. And as before with the same technique as the foundation, you can use your fingers to pat this in, you don't have to use a brush. Just go backwards and forwards until it's blended in seamlessly. Then to brighten up the rest of your face, you want to highlight all the high planes of the face. So you want to do the forehead, down the centre of the nose and also the chin. Hack number three is contouring, but we're going to do it with a little bit of a difference. Many of us are familiar with using a lighter to make your cold pencil softer. The idea is not to put the end of the pencil into the flame, it's just put it close for a good 10-15 seconds until it warms up and it becomes soft. And then we're going to rub that on the back of our hand. We don't all have the right products to contour with, but we usually all have a brown eyeliner. I'm using this face liner pencil by Cryolan, and then taking a small foundation brush, I'm rubbing that into the product that's on the back of my hand, and then working it into the areas I want to contour. Now contouring means to darken those areas and set them back, so it will make your nose look smaller, and also the hollows of your cheeks and around your hairline, so this can really help define the features of your face. Now with the highlight we went one or two shades lighter than our skin tone, so for the contour, when you're choosing a pencil, you want to choose one that's one or two shades darker than your skin tone. The idea of the contour is to look like a shadow, not to look like you've put a brown line on your face. So the idea is to blend well and choose the right colour. Hack slash tip number four is about your eyebrows. I often love the colour of an eyebrow pencil, but I prefer to apply it with a brush. So using the same technique as earlier by warming up the cold pencil with the lighter, I've worked that onto the back of my hand and then I'm using the brush just to go through the brows. So if you do prefer to use a brush, so you've got more control, then definitely warm up your cold pencil with the lighter. This is a great way of using the colour that you like with the product that you like. Then another handy tip to keep those unruly hairs in place is to use a little bit of hairspray onto a spoolie brush. So if you don't have an abundance of products and you don't have brow gel as well as your brow products, then this is a great alternative to use. It's quick, it's simple and it really works. Hack number five is about mascara. I'm sure many of you will know this one, but those of you that don't may find it interesting. There's nothing more annoying than spending $20 or £15 on a mascara that dries out in a matter of weeks. So, tighten your mascara tube and put it into a jug of water that's hot from the tap and just wait for five minutes. Then when you open it, you'll see that your mascara wand looks as good as new again. All the mascara from the size of the tube is reheated and lubricated and you'll get more use out of your mascara for longer. Then talking of mascara, that brings us on to hack number six, thicker, fuller looking lashes. For this tip, you can use talcum powder or do as I'm doing and use translucent powder. So you want to curl your lashes and then apply a fresh coat of mascara to them. Then immediately apply some translucent powder with a cotton bud to the ends of your lashes and then wait for one minute for it to set. After the minutes passed, you can go back in with your mascara wand and coat the top and bottom of your lashes. And because you've left it for a minute or so for the powder to set, you can then go over it with the mascara and it's not going to move. All it's going to do is thicken and lengthen the ends of your lashes. And if you particularly like that heavily mascara look, you can do this technique a couple of times. Hack number seven is DIY eyeshadow shields. This prevents you from ruining any of your makeup. All you'll need is some scotch tape and some tissue. I'm using kitchen towel. You wanna to take a small amount of scotch tape and just put it onto the back of your hand to remove some of the sticky layer so it doesn't ruin your makeup. And then you wanna attach that to the kitchen towel and then place that underneath your lower lashes. And then as you can see, it hangs off from underneath your lower lashes and it will catch any of the eyeshadow fall down so you can use your shimmeriest of eyeshadows or your darkest colours and you're not going to get any colour on your cheeks. 
And another quick tip is if you happen to apply eyeshadow after your mascara, just go through your lashes with a spoolie brush and the pigment will fall out of your lashes onto your shadow shield. Hack number 8 is how to create easy eyeliner flicks. For this I'm using my trusted Bobbi Brown gel liner and I'm using some of the scotch tape from earlier and again removing the sticky. I'm placing that underneath the outer third of my lower lashes and the direction that the tape lays is perfect to create this winged eyeliner. I'm only creating the liner on the outer third so I'm not going all the way across. So I'm going straight in to create that flick and as you can see when I'm pulling it across from the eyelid I'm going straight over the tape and then as I remove the tape you'll see it creates the perfect nice straight clean line. Another alternative is to use a credit card. I'm using my MAC card. By placing it under the lower lashes again I'm getting the same direction as the tape was and as before I'm painting straight from the eyelid over the card and in doing so I'm creating that nice clean winged eyeliner. Hack number 9 is to create your DIY contour brush. Now I'm taking this old powder brush, I've had this for over a decade so I'm going to put it to good use and I'm going to make it into a DIY contour brush. To do this I'm going to flatten the bristles of the brush between my finger and my thumb and then I'm going to slip on two bobby pins more towards the base of the brush and this is going to fan out the brush and make the bristles more tall. And this will fit really nicely into the hollows of your cheeks and you can just dust on your favourite contour colour. Hack number 10 is lipstick uses. For this I've chosen to use the Tarte Cosmetics Amazonium butter lipstick and the reason for this is because it's nice and sheer. The reason I've chosen sheer lipstick is because we're going to be applying it not only to our lips but also to our cheeks because you can also use a sheer lipstick as a blush colour. The more intense the lipstick the more intense the blush will be so you can buff this in with a brush I'm using a Tarte Cosmetics slenderizer brush or you can also pat this in with your fingers which I think is a really nice blended coverage it doesn't take too much of the colour away. Hack number 11 is cream eye pencil and we have various uses for cream eye pencil. The generic use is to go on the inner waterline of the eye and this makes your eyes look more alert and bigger. But this can also be used to highlight areas such as your lips. Applying it around the circumference of them can make them look fuller and it's also a good way of making lipstick such as red really stand out and make it look like a lovely clean line. It'll also help prevent bright colours from bleeding. And just go around it with an angle brush just to blend it in so it's not noticeable but it will make such a big difference. And if you leave it a tiny bit more visible just on the cupid's bow of your lip then that'll be a nice natural added highlight. And this leads us on to our last tack, number 12 and this is to fake fuller lips. I'm taking a nice shimmery eyeshadow which is the same as the one I've got on my eyelids and I'm placing that just on the centre of the lips. By doing this you're creating a nice fuller appearance because you're drawing light to them and this is going to reflect back and make them look bigger. So those are my hacks, I hope you've enjoyed them and I hope you can take something away from them. Thank you for watching, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time.